First on four tonight, a Prince George's County mother is taking legal action against the county's Board of Education following allegations of a classroom fight. The school system said it was part of a fighting game. News 4 blurred the video to protect the identity of those involved. We were first to show you this video last week. Now for the first time, we're hearing from the mother of one of the students injured in the fight. News 4's Darcy Spencer has been following the story from the beginning and has the latest. Give me a second, please. Sakona Graham wipes away tears as she talks about what happened to her 10-year-old daughter. That's her in this video in the classroom at Cora Rice Elementary in Landover, fighting a boy as classmates cheer and record on their phones. <laughs> The fight happened in January, but Graham says she just learned about it last week. Videos of the fight are circulating on social media. And for my child to happen and do what she did, it's not right. I want justice for my child. She filed a lawsuit against the Prince George's County School Board, claiming negligence. Her attorney says the teacher stood by, even encouraged the children to fight. Allowed and enticed her fifth grade students to verbally and physically assault Miss Graham's minor daughter while in her classroom. In a letter to parents, the principal implied the children were play fighting, but Graham and her attorney don't see it that way. It is no game to fight in a classroom with 10 year olds. Prince George's County Schools confirms that teacher resigned from the system, but did not say if it had anything to do with the fight. The principal shared a letter with parents promising to monitor children more closely and provide incentives for good behavior. The Graham says her daughter has lost her sense of safety at school. I'm beyond devastated. I have an eight. I have a slap. The attorney says the little girl suffered serious injuries and her mom says she has not returned to class since this fight came to light. In Lanham, I'm Darcy Spencer, News 4. Now, News 4 reached out to the school system tonight but did not hear back about the lawsuit.